Hello world. I wanted to make a short video. I'm going to be posting this to my YouTube. Uh, I posted it before. I made a few videos that were actually deleted by YouTube. A positive positive equals positive video having to do with um, some of the sciences that I've been working on as well as uh, my book of Thomas video that was actually taken down by YouTube illegally and um, I was adding up a lot of other things pro bono legal work pro bono science a lot of things that I do on my spare time other than being a single father and taking care of two children and doing what I can to actually further my education and career so while I was doing all this, while I was doing all this, I found out a lot of uh, really cool information about our past and our history and everything. And it all started kind of adding up. So I started posting all my findings online and started seeing a lot of people literally not putting things together as I was but I kept posting things online anyway so then I also started backing everything up I'm actually building a case against YouTube considering all the information I've already posted and let them know I'm already <laughs> pursuing legal action against their entire company considering they've illegally taken down my information and they've illegally deleted videos without my permission. But it's already been... Uh, backed up on Google. Backed up on YouTube. Backed up on another website. Backed up in my phone. Sent to the uh, Metalverse USB and Mark Zuckerberg's ass to the brain ship and sort of Elon Musk's fucking head all the way up to the satellite to NASA back down here all the way to another laptop computer uh, I specified actually sending a lot of this information to friends and colleagues that are in the same fields and they actually comprehend and understand it I don't do this stuff to get fame I'm not an entertainer I'm not an actor. I'm not a rapper. I'm not saying it to be demeaning, but a lot of people take professionalism at a different stance. And um, it's like that movie uh, Contagion. You know, when everybody saw that movie in 2011, that freaked everybody out. And when I was in medical assistant school, people were dismissing the fact of all these things coming out and then we all of a sudden the entire world gets smacked in the face with COVID-19 so when I was doing frequency studies on how to heal people following up on Royal Rife, Nikolai Tesla moving all the way back in reverse to what Jesus Christ was doing um, I started posting my findings and letting other people know that have similar abilities like mine I focus on remote viewing, I focus on frequency healing, and uh, a few other things that some people considered extrasensory perception, but it's not extrasensory. That being said, I don't consume alcohol, I don't contone any form of drug use. I made a few videos about that. They're actual scientific findings on research where people actually take substances and post their findings not to freak people out but the there's there's a lot of information out there where people just take drugs and post their findings and I'm, I don't have anything to do with that not disrespecting any of them I mean that if that's what you want to do go ahead that's I don't condone it but there's a lot of things out there that people are doing for free that the medical medical facilities, medical establishment, uh, big pharma, 
they take all that information and run with it. I mean, look at CBD now. DEA was known for burning down marijuana fields in South America, Mexico, Canada. Now they corner the market as far as CBD, CBD which is industrial cannabis. And uh, that's still cannabis. So the federal government now is selling weed. And that was a big shock to everybody. Now you can walk across the street and go buy cannabis at the gas station. So the federal government taxes for cannabis now, and everybody thinks it's crazy, but that's the reality of it. I wouldn't smoke that shit. Not with the cat piss they're lacing it with. But, hmm. That being said, um, when I started focusing on my frequency sciences and other things, I started turning up a lot of other facts that people wanted to know. And then I started realizing that when you backtrack through a lot of the things with YouTube and Facebook, they were actually giving away a lot of people's information for free, which is illegal. And in my case, I had videos deleted because somebody wanted to steal the information and take credit for it. And there will be penalties for that. I'm not doing this to get you rich. I'd rather do it to help people. But somebody out there, whether it's Big Pharma or some douchebag with a lot of money, I mean, you know, what is... Most of these guys with power, they just want more power. They got a little bit of money. They just want more money. So I had to go around all that stuff. Um, started studying the legal aspects of everything. UCC code, Uniform Commercial Code. Uh, took it all the way back to um, pharmacological bullshit that they were pushing as medicine when it's really just poison chalk that they're giving to people when there are actual natural remedies. They couldn't patent marijuana and sell it because it came from nature. Same thing with the soursop fruit plant. It's a uh, little plant that's 300,000 times more <laughs> capable of destroying cancer cells than chemotherapy is. And the natural remedies that actual, actually come from nature they always want to patent it and make money off of it and that's why we have customs in our country you know they always ask do you have any fruits or veggies or anything like that in your case it's because they're trying to keep all these things from crossing the border and them losing money i hope you lose all the money that you get you didn't deserve it in the first place especially if you're patenting from nature you're just stealing from nature I'd rather burn your carcass, bury you in the ground, and stick a fucking tree into it, to be honest with you. Especially if you're that kind of douchebag working for pharmacologists and big pharma. But, yeah, getting that out there. A lot of people wonder why I'm close to 40 years old and I still have all my hair. Because I don't drink piss water alcohol. Al cool is an actual Arabic word and people actually don't even understand what it does to them. I mean, I broke my language barrier, started studying, you know, sp Spanish, Tagalog, Latin, Aramaic, Hebrew, French. Some people don't even break their language barriers. They don't care about anything. They'd rather be on their knees for the rest of their life. I wasn't made to be that way. I've been climbing out of a, I want to say a poverty stricken lifestyle for a long time. I'm still waiting on this lawsuit for me versus Hoosier Contractors because the actual CEO of the company, he extorts and skims from his own employees and he doesn't even want to go to court. Even after I turn him into the IRS, the FBI, Federal Trade Commission, for all the underhanded stuff he's done. I'm not a CEO of a roofing company. I was a sales consultant for this roofing company. 
the guy tried to lie to everybody who interviewed him, even when I had paycheck stubs and the shirt and all the contract information. So that's not going to end or going away by any means necessary. But yeah, he has an injunction against him right now that it's making him look very stupid. Moving forward from there, I had a friend that gave me a call once and she just gave me a call out of nowhere. Kind of freaked me out. I won't put her name out there because, to be honest, I don't think she wants the drama. But being prior military and that I knew her in the military, I was interested in her whereabouts. I actually called her base, her base commander. I called at least 30 numbers that they have on that base website for an Air Force base. I got to speak with two gentlemen that came out to my house asking about why I was so interested in where she, what, what's happening with her. Just a general health and wellness check, but I got the FBI involved. I got the base involved. I got everybody involved. I mean, you should see what happens when I can't find out where a good friend of mine is going, especially with all the things going on in the world. And aside from putting information out there about H.R. 8791 or history of the Ottoman Empire or all the new cases of pedophilia having to do with the John Jay study and rounding up all the jackass pedophiles in the diocese. That's 5,000 pedophiles, not to mention another 3,000 nuns, bishops, cardinals. It's bad. It's really bad. It's not a boo-hoo story for me at all. But studying all the things that I want to do, I've never been in one career path at all. I mean, as far as military, that's fine. I can deal with that. Aerospace ground equipment, that's fine. Intelligence, that's fine. I can deal with that. Law enforcement, that's fine. I can deal with that. Private contracting, I can deal with that too. Uh, electrical sciences. I have a degree in electrical sciences. I don't have a problem with that. Religious history and legal history. I don't have a problem with that. Physics, no problem with that. Quantum learning, no problem with that. Everything I've ever studied, I've rose to the top on, given the time. Usually people are actually rushed in a lot of these subjects. That's why a lot of uh, college students are racking their brains and trying to figure out as much as possible. You know, you're always on a deadline with these things. But just studying even psychology, looking at Jung, Carl Jung, many people, including myself, I already debunked him because he was an atheist. Excuse me, an atheist as well as an al alcoholic. And if you've ever studied psychology or psychiatry or physiology, I mean, just the word al cool, the definition of it, that's an Arabic word, but... English is alcohol. So Young was tripping balls on alcohol. He was a heavily drunken man. He did a lot of his sciences while he was under the influences of alcohol and heavily inebriated. That's where that, that movie uh, Interview with a Vampire came from because he would get so damn drunk that he could interview a fucking vampire and not think anything of it. And you look at Darwin and people are like, oh yeah, Darwinism, but Darwin, he went to Galapagos and was tripping balls on hallucinogenic berries and lied about everything that he ever did. Everybody now is realizing that Darwin was full of shit and didn't know what he was talking about. And then... It traces all the way back to uh, a 
Elizabeth II and her family. A lot of these findings came from England and the British country. And they wanted to keep all the uh, education systems down. They wanted to keep people dumbed down. That entire family is full of alcoholics and Satanists, Luciferians. That's why Masons and Catholic pedo churches and lodges are getting burned down. They are underhanded and misrepresent themselves. There has never been in history anyone to actually give valid proof about anything having to do with her family or lineage being anything other than a vampire family considering she's the 16th great grandniece of Vlad Tepesh Dracula. I made a playlist about that. Started studying Mesopotamia. Started studying the, the Middle Eastern areas. Iraq, Iran, Lebanon. Took it all the way back to the Quran. Started looking at jinn, angels, religious history. That's what same stuff that all the other priests have to do. And there's not one priest out there that can actually heal anyone because their body is so full of alcohol. From a scientific view, if you drink alcohol, alcohol, you are imbibing a depressant and making parts of your brain shut down. That's a demonic liquid. It comes from a demonic source. It was made by priests and monks. That's non-negotiable saying anything otherwise. Take it all the way back to biblical times. They were using alcohol as a bartering tool as well as bread for all the slaves that they had. And if you mix alcohol, high content yeast bread and push people out into the desert heat, you have a yeast infection and you're also dumbing them down and getting them away from their best intentions, lowering their inhibitions. Rome produces most of the alcohol in the world. Now they're realizing they can't even get away from these truths. That's charlatanry. They're all 